guardian of Mount Zion and of the Holy Sepulcher for 12 years is the theme of the special video made as a tribute to Father Pier Battista Pizzabala. He himself recounts the challenges and joys of these past 12 years in an interview. Many people ask about my future plans. Like everyone else, I obviously have plans. However, first of all, I am a monk. I am a son of obedience. I have walked in obedience also during my mission as a guardian. But there will come a time when someone else will tell me, just as Jesus said to Peter, where to go and I know it is for the best. I am getting ready for this step, which in all truth is not easy, nor is it simple, in view of the fact that I have been living 25 years here in the Middle East, that is, half of my life. I lived here the most significant part of my life. I am 50 years old and I spent 25 years here. After 12 years of service as guardian, which has placed me in a certain context, leaving is not simple. It requires a preparation. I am spiritually preparing for this next step of my life, after which I will be ready to experience the freedom that I will be able and will try to have. <laughs> I remember the Custos being young. This was something that surprised many. I think because of his age. Although his spirit was younger than his age, a sign of maturity. Right now, I have this feeling of losing a big brother. The centennial presence of the Franciscans in the Holy Land and in the sanctuaries, the culture and Christian identity in the Middle East, as well as the ecumenical and interreligious dialogue have always been a challenge. One of the little known aspects of the custody of the Holy Land is the almost daily and very close, almost intimate relationship with non-Catholic Christian churches. The meeting between Patriarch Bartholomew and Pope Francis was a turning point, or perhaps the end of a process and the beginning of another. As I have said in other circumstances, the relations between the different churches have become much more cordial. Although each remains within its jurisdiction, their interaction is more friendly. Father Pier Battista Pizzapalo welcomed the two popes who went on pilgrimage to the Holy Land. Pope Benedict XVI in 2009 and Pope Francis in 2014. He was also the spokesperson for the historic meeting in the Vatican Gardens on June 8, 2014 between Pope Francis and the Patriarch of Constantinople, Bartholomew I, with President of Israel Shimon Peres and Mahmoud Abbas, President of the Palestinian Territories. During the meeting, Jews, Christians and Muslims prayed together for peace. Challenge with the media, 33 broadcasters around the world transmit Terra Santa news. When I go around the world and people say to me, we watch the Terra Santa news and we have learned about all the things you are accomplishing and now we know who you are, this is of great consolation to me. This is a great reward after so much hard work. The challenges of the difficult situation in Syria. La Syria. Syria today is a deep wound in the Christian life of the Middle East because Syria is the cradle of early Christianity. Syria represents a deep, painful wound for us Franciscans, an atrocious war. I had the opportunity to be there just a few months ago. The country is unrecognizable, totally destroyed. At the question of whether or not to stay in hazardous areas, a shepherd does not abandon his flock, remembers Father Pier Battista Pizzabala. People do not only need bread to live, sometimes a word of comfort, a hug, or a handshake are more important, especially during adversity.
The first word for Father Pio Petista that comes to mind is thank you. As the custos of the Holy Land for 12 years, he has served with great wisdom, with great ability to govern and to uplift people's spirits, and to also create those bridges in the maintenance of which we are all asked to cooperate. I think Father Pio Battista is a great asset to the custody of the Holy Land, and I hope he continues to be. The entire special video can be found on the Christian Media Center website.